Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall, and boy have I been excited for this week's car. It's the 2015 Mazda 3 S Grand Touring. Now, does this car have all of the zoom zoom that I expect from it? We'll find out next coming up on the Fast Lane Car. The Mazda 3 is available in a sedan, but let's face it, the hatch is where it's at. Now the smiley face in the front is gone from previous years, and instead the front end is very aggressive and includes bi-xenon high intensity discharge headlamps with auto leveling. This car rolls on 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped in all season rubber, and the rear features a spoiler, dual exhaust, and some really nice angles when viewed at the side. All in all, I really like this redesign of the Mazda 3. I think it's very, very effective and it looks super cool. Mazda has given us a 2.5 liter Sky Active G engine and it's good for 184 horsepower and 185 pound feet of torque. Now power goes to the front wheels via a six speed manual transmission. That's right, this is the top of the line model and I can still get a manual transmission. Although if you don't want to row your own gears, you can get a six speed shiftable automatic with the sport mode. So some of you might be asking yourself, hey self, what is this Sky Active technology? Well, I will tell you. It involves three different components of the car, engine, transmission, and chassis. So in a Sky Active engine, they're more efficient while producing fewer emissions, and they are also um, tuned to give you more low to mid-range torque. Now, in the chassis, you've got a 30% stiffer chassis, and it's also got a tuned suspension, which makes it more nimble even at slower speeds and more stable at higher speeds. Now in the transmission, you've got an advanced control module, which will make it um, more reliable and a little bit more beefy. So all in all, it just means that you can really, woo, red line, you can really power through on this car. I mean, this car loves the red line, loves it. I do love this design of the interior. The cream and the black upholstery with the red contrasting stitching give it a really nice upscale feel. I've got a lot of soft touch materials in here. Now I do have a seven inch touch screen, which frankly, when I first looked at it, I thought it was going to interfere with my sight lines, but it didn't. So yay on that. Now your peak horsepower of 184 comes in at about 5,700 RPM. And this car red lines at 6,500. So you can very easily hit this red line. I'm do, I did it all the time while I was in this car. Oh, it's just a joy. And when they talk about more mid-range torque, I mean, it's true. Right now I'm at 2,500 RPM in third gear. And I've got plenty there when I floor the gas. So peak torque comes in at right around 3,200 RPM. So it really, really does make this car a joy to drive and a joy to toss around in the corners. Now the steering in this car it is an electric power steering setup, which, you know, I always like a hydraulic steering, but it's very, very direct. You get a good amount of feel to it. And um, it, the steering wheel feels really, really good in your hands. So I do like the steering setup. If you're going to have to have an electric power steering, which most every car nowadays is, this is a really good setup to have. And the transmission does offer you slightly short throws. I mean, I would love it if it were just a tiny bit shorter, but I think most people are going to be satisfied with it and it gives you a nice feel to it. I mean, it's just right there. It's just so much goodness is happening in this car right now. I just love it, love it, love it to death. Now the Mazda 3 does have some competition in the form of the Ford Focus and the Volkswagen Golf. Now our Grand Touring model here starts at about $25,500 and with a few options, it's up to $28,385. Now what would be interesting is to see if Mazda puts a Mazda speed engine in this, which would then bump it up to competing with the Ford Focus ST and the Volkswagen GTI. That would be awesome. 
But for now, on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I have to give the 2015 Mazda 3 S Grand Touring a very, very super crazy enthusiastic buy it. Why? Because it's super crazy fun to drive, it looks great, you're gonna get fairly decent gas mileage, and you have a fair amount of utility. Now, you can also get this car in a little bit of a smaller engine, a two liter Skyactiv with 150 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. But keep in mind, depending on your trim level, this car weighs pretty close to 3,000 pounds. So I haven't driven that smaller engine, but I'm gonna speculate that you're gonna want the bigger one because that's a lot of poundage to, to motivate with just 150 horses. Now, these pedals are set up close enough so that you can do a little bit of heel-toe shifting. I wish that the tipping point of the accelerator was just a little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit higher because you really do have to roll your ankle to get a, to get a little throttle blip on it, but it's not too bad. I mean, regular, normal, everyday people are really going to be satisfied with this car. And maybe if they give us a Mazda Speed, you know, they'll set up, uh, they'll set up your acceleration points a little bit differently. But on the whole, it's just so much fun to drive. <laughs> Now I want to talk a little bit about gas mileage because this car is so much fun to drive. I mean, I just had my foot in it the entire time. So I figured that wasn't really fair to Mazda in terms of gas mileage. So I did a little experiment. On my way home from a pal's house one night, uh, I decided that I was going to drive the speed limit. And additionally, I was going to shift when the car told me to shift because I do have a little indicator here that will tell me when to shift. Right now it's telling me to go from fourth to sixth. So, okay, I'll do that. Um, so I thought I'll do that and I'll see what happens. And during that time, uh, I was able to get 33.7 miles per gallon on the highway. But I tell you, it was really hard because you know that the car has more in it. You know that you personally want to have a little bit more fun and you're just holding back. I've never been one to hold back. But I do want to say that it is possible to get higher, higher gas mileage than what I got, just depending on the way you drive. That's it for today. I'm Emmy Hall. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Yay! Round of applause. I love you guys so much. Even my haters. I love you guys too. Hey, you can find us on tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. And of course, find us on all the social medias. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>